Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to compile and integrate crypto++ library into your visual C++ environment. Plus I will show you how to run a sample program using this crypto++ library in visual studio. So I have made a blog entry in my blog which is programming knowledge blog dot blogspot dot de and I will also put a link below this video so you can refer to that blog so first step is to download the crypto pp library from its site so just click this download link and you will reach to the download link at the time of making this video this is the latest uh, version of crypto plus plus libraries so i will click this and download this this will be downloaded in the form of a zip file which looks like this and you just need to extract your file somewhere in your computer so i have given an file name crypto pp and in this file I have generated the file so make this directory and extract your files in this directory okay and once you extracted this these files all these files will be extracted like this into your folder in this uh, file just search for this crypto test solution and open it into your visuals studio so once you open this uh, solution in visual studio it will look like this this solution contain four projects so what you need to do is go to build and go to batch build and select crypto lib win32 debug library so just check it and check crypto lib release library for win32 so select this and select this and then click build okay I have already built this library it will take some time so once you build these library it will generate a folder called win32 here and in this folder it will generate these project files and in the output here it will create a debug folder which contain these three files cryptlib vc at and this one and in release folder it also create some file including this cryptlib library now in order to run a sample program using these libraries i will i will open a visual studio once again and I will create a new project and that's that project I want to create a win32 project and I will name it as crypto pp okay and just select the folder Of your choice I will prefer the folder in which I have extracted my crypto PP libraries so I will select the same folder as my crypto PP libraries so select it and click OK and it will generate a new project for you
in this new project I will create a new CPV file so just go to source file and add new item and then select CPV give the name of your CPV file and then just click OK so I have already created a CPP file called test.cpp and in here I will write the code of my crypto plus plus libraries so in my blog post I have uh, given the code sample code which you can copy and paste it into your CPP file so once you have done that you see it's showing some errors these errors are coming because it's not locating the libraries so just so what I will do is I will go to my folder once again and I will copy my crypto PPP library folder all complete folder from here I will cut from here and in my new project wherever I have this solution for my new project for Windows 32 Win32 I will paste it here this project is open so it's not taking it once again paste and it's pasted and now when you give some path from here you can select this scriptopp library from here and just add this line to every file which is related to cryptopp so this file hex file filters file des file this okay and here also double quotes double quotes double quotes here also double quotes double quotes and double quotes so now it's locating the libraries and it's lo locating the files okay so once you have done with that you can build your program and it's showing this because first line I have deleted by mistake so I will copy this include once again and paste it here and then I will just locate that file so now when I build my program it's giving me some linker error this is error because I haven't linked any libraries to my projects so right click your project and go to the properties and go to linker and click include and in the additional dependencies 
here I am going to write the path of my libraries so what is the path of my library in C CPP file where which contains this win32 this is the crypto project file I will go to the type and I will search for no I will go to windows 32 output and because I'm making my project in debug mode if you can see here once again in debug mode okay so I will go in here crypto pp windows 32 output debug and I will right click it copy the path of this file crypto crypt lib dot lib file and I will add in this additional dependencies and click OK apply and OK now once this is done once again try to build the program and once again it's giving me some errors so once again I will go to text my project folder properties and I will go to C C++ and I will go to code generation and if you are in debug mode just select from here multi threaded debug instead of this DLL okay multi threaded debug and apply and click OK once again make the solution and this time my build is succeeded you see and now when I run my program it gives me some output so this output takes a plain text it can convert uh, the plain text into the shiffer text and this shiffer text can be converted into hex form and then from hex form this can be converted or de decrypted to the original uh, script so this program contains all original to shiffer, shiffer to hex, hex to the shiffer, shiffer to once again to the original text so this is a useful program and if you are building your program in debug mode here debug or sorry if you are making your project in release mode from here you need to just set the properties once again go to C C++ code generation and here select multi threaded instead of multi threaded DLL just select this multi threaded empty only and apply and once again go to linker input and in here you will give the path of your libraries so this time last time we have gone to the debug folder this time we will go to the release folder of your project and just select the library and copy the path of the library and paste it into additional dep dependencies click ok apply ok and now we will run or build our program in release mode so build and it's built and now you can run the program and same output you will get so in this way you can use crypto++ libraries to 
encrypt and decrypt data and I have just shown you how to install your crypto plus plus libraries and compile and run it with visual c plus plus program so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now